All right, today we're looking at the serratus anterior muscle. We're gonna look at doing some movement that activates it and uses it during some stabilized coordinated movement. And just before we actually get into that, we're gonna take a look at it on this app I got called Visible Body. I've had this for a long time. It's very, very good. So take a look at it here. Like you can see it's attached to like your ribs, right? And it goes back to the, like the front side of your scapula. So you can see in there, like it goes onto your scapula like that, like in front of it. <laughs> so you, you can actually reach around to kind of touch that part of your scapula. If you like really force your hand in here and touch that side of your scapula, it is possible. And if you look at the directions of, of the fibers, you can see that the main movement that it does is it sends the scapula on this path. So the scapula kind of moves like along the ribs and around, and you can see how that causes the, you can see the collarbone comes forward and the whole, you know, arm moves forward and it's able to move forward without really any other motion. You don't need to like go forward like this or anything. It just, it just goes straight forward. The scapula just goes from, from around the back to the front. So you can imagine if the, uh, the trapezius was there, you know, the trapezius would be connecting onto the other, you know, in between the spine and the scapula here. So the trapezius can kind of move it back and the serratus can move forward. So it's like forward, back, and you can really test if, if you're kind of doing it because you can feel your collarbone move like this. See how the collarbone moves? And you can, you know, there's two mistakes you can make when moving it. If you're trying to move it, one, you can like rotate your spine, like you can actually make your spine, you know, rotate kind of like, like this. And you'd be like, yeah, I think I moved it. You know, you can trick yourself. Like you can keep this shoulder forward and kind of like rotate your spine and be like, yeah, my arm moved forward. So it's important that you don't gauge the movement by like what happens at your your hand or something like that, because you can really roll your shoulder forward or you can rotate your spine. You really want to gauge the movement just by the collarbone and the scapula itself. Like you can reach behind and just check, is the, the scapula moving just, you know, around the ribs as it does in this way. So now that we've done that, Basically, put your arms out like this. And you can probably do one arm at a time, that's easier. And just put your hand on your collarbone and just reach your arm out very slightly, like barely at all, just like, just like that. And just feel the collarbone and check is the collarbone just kind of like pretty much moving forward. And if you feel that the collarbone's like, like literally rotating, you're probably moving your shoulder. Now you can put your arm finger here on this like bony thing here and you can check, is that just moving forward? You're just checking to make sure it's not like raising or it's not rotating. Right, and you can put your hand back here on your scapula, and just and just literally like see where my hand is. You can just put your hand here and like feel your scapula and just check: is it just moving across, like in the way, you know, across and forward, like in the way it did in the video. I had a lot of trouble moving this muscle for a long time. Like I would just do it so wrong. So just so completely, completely wrong. Like 
I would kind of go like, oh yeah, so I see something moves forward down here. So I'd kind of go, ugh, like, like this. Like, you know, when it's supposed to kind of activate when you do like a shoulder press, right? So I'd, I'd just do it completely wrong. I'd like swing the scapula out to the side, like, ugh, like that <laughs> or something. It was just completely wrong because here's the thing. We normally live our lives according to the principle, pull your shoulders back, pull your shoulders back. Shoulder support is low confidence and low status. So you want to always make sure you've got an upright posture by pulling your shoulders back. So we really don't do this like shoulders forward thing. And what happens is if you're not having your shoulders forward in this position, then you lose coordination and stabilization in this position and just being in this position with your shoulders forward like this and your arms up becomes pretty damn uncomfortable because now instead of these bones being in the normal place where they normally are, they're in a different place. So your muscles, especially the trapezius and the anterior deltoid, need to work in a completely different way. Like, the, you know, now the trapezius has to be like, you know, over here because it comes down onto the shoulder and now the shoulder's in a different place. So the way that, in my opinion, to get this muscle working properly and really join in with the whole system of your body isn't really just to do a an exercise that's like, you know, pushing them forward. Like, you know, you might think, oh, well, I'll lay on the ground, grab some dumbbells and push forward. Or I'll, you know, be in a push-up place and then do a movement like this to like push myself up or something like that. Because you just don't have the coordination, most likely, like at the end range, like this. Like the other muscles can't work when the serratus is like engaged. So I think what's better to do is to move it forward, you know, move your scapula around, and then from there, start to, you know, get, get coordination. And I don't know about you, but like, I feel a lot of tightness in my anterior deltoid and my trapezius when this is happening, because they're needing to hold the shoulder up in a completely new way now. And they're just not good at it because they've barely got any experience and they feel tight and uncomfortable. But you want to put your shoulders forward like this. And when I say shoulders, you know, it's like the whole scapula moves around the rib cage to the front. And once you're here, okay, now start to do movement here. It doesn't matter what you do, but the idea is that like you basically try to, mm, let's say relax, like, like minimize the required tension to hold this position and then you know, start to move around while, while maintaining that uh, shoulder forward position. And you can just go in and out. Good burgers, right? So, so for me, I don't, I don't know about you, but I, I get pretty tight there. It's like, ugh. okay? So go out, go out as far as you can while keeping that shoulder forward. Come back in. Go across as well. That one's a bit weird. I don't know what's happening there. And also down. Now, when you go down, you want to make sure that you're not kind of like going like this down. It's not about, you know, moving your shoulder up. That's not what we're doing. Like we're not moving the scapula up and over the rib cage. We're just allowing we're keeping the scapula in exactly the same position. That's why I said we're stabilizing here. So you keep your scapula in exactly the same position and just at the shoulder, you know, glenohumeral joint where the humerus plugs into the shoulder, that's what's moving. You're doing your best to keep your scapula in exactly the same place while you do this movement. So the challenge of course is going to come when you try to go up, right? So you, you're forward, you keep it in that position and then you try to just do 
the the glenohumeral joint, like you know, you could you could go like this, right? You know, usually we move like this, right? So if you put your hand on your scapula, you'll see the entire scapula moves when you do this. But to put your shoulders forward and keep the scapula in exactly the same position while you move that, well, that's a whole other thing. You know, the anterior deltoid and trapezius, especially the anterior deltoid, that needs to work in a whole other way. And like, it really needs to work, you know, movements work in this way really well where like some muscles hold something completely stable, like hold, hold a set of bones completely stable in place while another muscle can contract and, you know, create, create the movement. If you're always doing like this where your whole, if your whole scapula moves, well, your anterior deltoid is going to suffer. So you get really good practice doing this, keep it in exactly the same position and you can put your hand on your scapula and just try to minimize the movement. And you probably like, if anything like me, you notice it's like, it's pretty hard. Like your scapula moves, but just keep practicing it. Yeah. Just keep those shoulders held forward. Do all this movement. Go into discomfort. See how high you can go. Okay. I'm a complete beginner to this movement here. I just kind of like discovered it. So that's about all I can show you, but just play with it yourself and see what you can do. Okay, see you next time.